Hello guys, welcome back. I hope at some point of the time you have uploaded your image at some website for removing the background of the image. If so, then you are not alone because myself and most of the people do the same. But after watching this video or by the end of this video, you will be able to remove the background from a single image or multiple images which are inside a folder and also create a web app with some lines of Python code where you can just drag the image and remove the background and then download it as you do normally from the third party website. Let's get started. By the way, before going through the content of this video, what I want to say to you is starting today, March 11, at 5 p.m. Helsinki time, that is EET, so Eastern European time UTC2, I will be publishing one video related to Python. It can be the pure Python code or it can be some Python package. If you want to get notified as soon as I upload the video, please subscribe and have the notification on so you will get the notification as soon as I upload the video. Now let's go to the content of this video. By the way, this video might be a little bit long, but I will provide time stamps in the video. So feel free to jump between different sections of the video as you want. As I said before, we are removing the background of image, not only one image, but multiple images using the Python library called RemBG. So first we will install and import the package. Then we will use the package as a library itself, usage as a library. Then usage as a CLI. So we can use CLI or terminal to achieve the same thing. And at last, we will create a Gradio app where you can just upload the image and remove the background of the image. First, let's go and see the MBG Python package from GitHub. So let's open the link. It opens in the GitHub page. So it says RemBG. RemBG is a tool to remove images background. So if we scroll down, it says that, okay, we can remove the image background and you can see some of the examples here. You can go through this uh, GitHub link. I will provide the link in the description, but let's see what we can do. So it has CPU and GPU support. For me, I'm using CPU machine. So I will just do installation with pip install rembg, but it also supports the GPU because behind the scene, it is using deep learning to remove the image background. So usage as a CLI, as I said before, we'll go through this, but as you can see here, it has many functionality and you can use as library, you can use the CLI and also you can create a Docker image and then replace the image background. So whichever you prefer. It's up to you, but the main goal here is to remove the background of the image or images. So let's get back to the notebook. First, we will install the Python package. We can just type exclamation pip install rembgq. If I type shift enter, it will install the package for me. And the Q means that doesn't show anything when it is installing the package. Now it is installed. Let's import the package. Here we can import the package, but before going through the code, so RemBG uses the UNet. UNet is a type of convolution neural network. That means it is deep learning model behind the scene. Architecture that is commonly used for image segmentation. Task. So RemBG provides a fast and easy to use way to remove the backgrounds from image using state-of-the-art machine learning techniques. So this is what we, it is used behind the scene. And there are actually many models that can be used. As you can see here, there are many models. There is the UNet, there is UNet P and all the different models that you can use while you run the code. Now uses as a library. Let's see what is there. What we can do first, as I said, from IPython display import image as image display. By the way, I have some of the images already here. So here I have folder input image. There is an output image folder also. 
and there is the car input image and output png i can remove this because this is just the image that i used uh, before i can just remove it for now and this is the notebook i have here so i'm going to open the image that is here car input image so this is how you can load the image with this ipython display image function so if i run this it shows some error it says that okay no such file or directory car input.jpeg so i have here car input.jpeg oh it's jpg so it's jpg if i just change this so this is the image so as you can as you can see here this is the image which has background of course you can see the car image now let's use the rembg package to remove the background let's close this for now and i pass here okay input path is image and i can just name the output as car output.png because here you can see there is jpg i can just pass png also and input equals to image dot open and then there is the input path that means i'm opening the image and output it just i'm passing the image inside the remove class that is imported from the rembg library so this is just the code yeah there is nothing to explain uh, much actually there is just a function of the class that takes the image and it removes so all the things are happening behind using the deep learning uh, model so if you want to know more how this image uh, removal background removal part works you can go and see what unit is in details but for now this is just the code that we are using to remove the background if i just run shift enter now this is running and now it's completed if i want to see what is being output i can just pass this and you can see that it removes the background of that image this is the initial image we have and now this is the image that is being returned from the package after removing the image background this is the i have the black theme and it is showing like this but let me change the theme to light so you will see the difference here you see the image before and here is the image after removing the background but i will go back to the dark theme because i prefer using the dark theme so yeah that is how you can remove just one image background but you can argue that okay so that's an, i can do this by just uploading somewhere because i can just upload and download it just takes like seconds but yeah it takes seconds but think about having many images let's say you have 20 images and you want to remove the background of the image you need to always upload to the third party website and then download each time yeah of course there can be some website which does multiple images but at least you need to submit the image to their website but here we can do this also with the multiple images now let's go through that what we can do first let's see that i have the folder here called input images now let's open both side by side here i am using the globe package so import globe so images i am just reading the images how many images are there so there are total four images so if you go inside here of course there are four images let's go back and now what i can do is that let's say i want to print the first image what is there okay oh great <laughs> there is donkey dog cat and hen and then it has the background also right so what we can do now is loop through the image and remove all the background of those images so for that what we can do for image in images so images meaning that we have here images reading with the glob library and then we put the input as input path is image and then output path is input path dot replace input image output image this is just easy way to put all the images inside the output image and with open input path as i and then with open output path as o so read bytes write bytes and we can see input equals to i dot read output is again this is the main main functional class that is being doing all the thing so o dot write output so if we run this 
it will go through all the images from that particular folder. It can be as many images as you want. And this is the reason why there is also the GPU support. By the way, I didn't told you before, but if you have GPU and if you want to install, you need to provide the extra parameter. Now let me see where it is. So this is uh, how you can install for CPU. But for GPU, you need to first check that if your system supports the ONNX runtime GPU. You can go through this link and check. And then to install, you need to provide pip install RAM BG and you need to provide GPU. So that is how you can install for GPU. Now our image background has been removed. Let's see how many images we had in the input. We had four. And now on the output, also we have how many? Okay, I already had four images before. So then it actually duplicates all those images and it shows here eight images. So if I go to output, there are all the images here. But okay, let me do one thing. I can just remove this all for now, just to make sure. And then again, I go here and then run the code again. Now there should be, so the, here is none of the images here now. So yeah, now there are four images. And it should actually show all four images. So now let's see the, the image. For before we had the image with, with the background. And now let's see the image without the background. Let's open this side by side. So you can see that this right side image is the one that is before removing the background and this left side image is after removing the background. So I think it's almost perfect. The fact that there is some tree behind on top of this donkey here, it didn't recognize actually this one, but overall it seems great. It just removes the background. So yeah, you can just go through this package and remove the background. So I'm quite happy with this because I can just do with some lines of Python code. But now the main part here is, okay, we did all this. Now let's again go with the dark theme because I like that one. And now we did this. The good part of this package is that now we did by writing the code, right? But we can achieve the same through the terminal also. So instead of going through the terminal, I'm doing inside the, inside the notebook itself, just by passing exclamation sign in front of the package name, but you can run this same thing in the terminal without this exclamation sign. So now let's remove the, let's repeat the same thing that we did before, but now from the terminal or CLI. First, let's import the RAMBG package and let's see what different things it has. So we can just type rambg help. So it says that, okay, for a file as an input, we can pass p for a folder and yes for HTTP server. Let's not go with this yes for HTTP server. If you want, you can go through the GitHub page and implement yourself. Here we can pass rambg and i, as it says i is for the image input. So we can pass the image. So here is car input.jpg. So here you can see I have one image called uh, carimage.jpg and I said caroutput.jpg. It's already being outputted here. So now I can just remove this. And if I run this command, then it will use the default unit model and remove. So now you can see it appears the seconds before here. If I click the input, it's the car. If I click the output, it's without the background. So this is how you can do for one image. And as I said before, you can use different models. So let's say that I want to use some different models now. So let's again remove this output. Uh, not that one, but I can remove the output. Let's say that I want to use the same command, exclamation rambg, I, and you can pass with dash m the model that you want to use. So in this case, let's say I want to use u2 net p model. So if you want to know what are the different models in the GitHub, you can see net p is the lightweight version of u net model. I want to use this, let's say. And the same is the input of the image and the output. If I run the command, it will use the particular model to change the, to remove the background of the image. 
so yeah if i just the output it's almost similar and this is the original image so you can just play around with different models and see which one gives you the best result now let's go through the uh, folder part also here the same thing but what you can do rem bz instead of i you can pass p for the folder and let's use the model unit and input images so now i'm passing whole folder inside it and the output images so here you see i have input image as before i showed you four images and on the output i have four let's delete this for now where is the delete button here let's delete this now let me pass the code so this is how easy it is to remove so now it says that okay it, it's showing the progress bar uh, how it is removing so now it's completed and now in the output you can see all the images appears here but yeah there are some of the more images i had before for example this giraffe this is here and if i want to see what was before you can just go and see here so this is the giraffe and this is the output i think it quite gets and removes the background as you can see here so this is the elephant after image removal this is the car and i hope there is the elephant input okay here so this is the elephant before image removal and this is the elephant after it so yeah i think this this does pretty well job for removing the image background so now last thing okay this is great we did what we want but what if we want to create a web app to do the same so for this i'm going to use the gradio app let's see first what is gradio so gradio is used to create uis for your machine learning model in python in three minutes meaning that it's that simple to use so if i scroll all the way down it says building machine learning web apps in python and you can go through this i will provide the link in the description below so it's it's this simple to create the web ui you need to import give some functions and then it's there yeah let's try for this one so what we can do first we need to install the gradio let's do pip install gradio so now it installs the gradio package now we can import gradio as gr and also also we can import this rmbg import remove we already did before but let's do it again and we create a function for now because the gradio uses the function so here we write the function but the code is the same as you see before we have the we, we pass the input image for the function and the output part we just give some name output and then it uses the remove plus and it takes the input image output we saved in the output path and then we return the output so that is that simple we create the function and import the library and now it's done now this is the part where we create the ui as i showed before so let's say this is demo so gr is what we imported here and interface is the class that we take from gradio and it actually takes in a function which we just created here and it takes image input and the output so here i have written gr.image type peel peel means that we want to use the pillow i have explained here below the function which calls rembg and handles the image background removal and the image is the gradio component and type peel tells to pass the image as pillow object because by default it takes numpy array so that's why we provided type peel here and the image is interface to render image component and then we just pass the demo dot launch and share equals to true. okay so now let's run the gradio let's launch the gradio app so we can just run this code now it launches the app for us so you can see here it is providing me the local url and the public url because i'm running this on github code space so i cannot use the local url but this public url is the same thing that is being provided for me here so i can just use this for now but and then it says that this shared link expires in 72 hours so you can share this link with your friends or some colleagues and then they can use the app that is running on your system by the way one thing that you need to be clear is that 
in order to your friends to access this URL, this app needs to be running in your local machine. I have written here, website will run on .gradio extension, but this resharable link lasts for 72 hours and will last if only your system is running because Gradio just hosts the web app on your system. The system needs to be on in order, you, in order for someone to use this public URL. But now let's test this. It's the same thing, but it will of course work. Let's take the elephant and let's submit this. So it should re remove the background of this elephant picture, as you can see here, and you can just right click and save image as. So yeah, this is how you can remove the background of your image using the RAMBG uh, library. And uh, with Gradio, you can even create a web UI uh, to do the same. So I hope you learned something and now you can use this to remove as many images background as you want. And you don't need to upload to the third party websites to do the same. I hope you like this video. If yes, then please like the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Which motivates me to create the content like this in the future. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.